China's newest aircraft carrier, the Fujian, has just marked a major milestone, one that puts it in rare company. For the first time, China has successfully launched multiple fixed-wing aircraft using its electromagnetic catapult system, a technology previously seen only aboard the US Navy's USS Gerald R. Ford. According to Chinese state media, the Fujian used the advanced launch system, known as EMELS, to send three different aircraft types into the skies. The fifth generation J-35 stealth fighter, the J-15T multi-role fighter, and the KJ-600 early warning and control aircraft. This is more than just a technical achievement. It signals a new chapter in China's naval capabilities. The J-35, often referred to as China's answer to the US F-35C, is now officially the world's second carrier-based stealth fighter. Its launch from Fujian marks the jet's first public demonstration aboard a carrier deck. Alongside it, the J-15T, an upgraded catapult-compatible variant of China's indigenous J-15, and the KJ-600, a twin-prop airborne early warning platform similar in role to the US Navy's E-2D Hawkeye, also completed successful catapult launches and arrested recoveries. State broadcaster CCTV described the event as a milestone and a breakthrough in the country's carrier development. Until now, only one Navy in the world had this capability, the United States. The EMELS, or Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, replaces older steam-powered catapults, allowing for smoother, faster launches with less wear on aircraft and significantly higher payload capacities. It enables carrier-based aircraft to take off with more fuel and heavier weapons, thereby extending strike range and mission flexibility. The USS Gerald R. Ford, commissioned in 2017, became the first US carrier to integrate emails and was certified for full flight operations in 2022. Now, China joins that elite technological tier. However, there's one key difference. While US Ford-class carriers are nuclear-powered, giving them near-unlimited endurance at sea, the Fujian is conventionally powered. It must refuel either in port or via tanker, slightly limiting its operational range compared to its American counterparts. Launched in June 2022, the Fujian is China's third aircraft carrier, following the Liaoning and Shandong. But it is the first to be fully designed and constructed indigenously, and the first to break from the ski jump launch systems used on the earlier carriers. With a displacement of around 80,000 tonnes, it is the largest conventionally powered warship in the world and the first Chinese carrier equipped with Catabar. Catapult assisted takeoff, but arrested recovery. According to Chinese media, it is outfitted with three emails catapults. It's a substantial leap forward. By comparison, the Shandong displaces roughly 66,000 tonnes and the Liaoning around 60,000. The Fujian's size and design allow it to carry around 60 aircraft, significantly expanding the People's Liberation Army Navy's reach and capabilities. Speaking to CNN, retired US Navy Captain Carl Schuster said the successful launch and recovery tests indicate the Fujian may be only weeks away from commissioning. Full integration with the PLA Air Force and Rocket Force could follow by spring 2025. The timing is no coincidence. These developments come amid renewed diplomatic engagement between Washington and Beijing. A US congressional delegation, led by Rapper Adam Smith, visited Beijing this week, aiming to reopen lines of military-to-military -military communication. Smith, the top Democrat on the House Armed Services Committee, emphasized, and the military-to-military -military relationship between China and the US is of particular concern. China is the most rapidly growing military and the most rapidly growing nuclear power in the world. The U.S. has the biggest military in the world and the biggest nuclear arsenal. It is dangerous for us not to be having regular communications about our capabilities and intentions so we understand each other and so that miscalculations and misunderstandings don't lead to larger problems.
China's defense analysts are clear. The Fujian is not just a technological milestone. It's a strategic instrument designed to project power, defend interests far from China's shores, and strengthen its presence in contested regions like the South China Sea and Western Pacific. The ship is also symbolic. Named after Fujian Province, directly across the strait from Taiwan, the carrier is expected to play a central role in anti-access and area denial strategies should conflict erupt over the island. And with plans reportedly underway for a nuclear-powered carrier, China's naval ambitions are far from complete. The Fujian may be the most advanced now, but it's also a stepping stone in line with China's goal of building a world-class military by the centennial of the PLA in 2027. The launch of the J-35, J-15T and KJ-600 from the deck of the Fujian marks more than just a technological breakthrough. It's a clear signal of intent that China's navy is no longer just regional. As the Fujian prepares for full operational status, the global naval balance is once again shifting not with a bang, but with a quiet electromagnetic pulse.